Greetings, this is the Timeshare Traveler. Today is episode 167, um, the value of timeshare marketing packages. Um, so um, I'm going to talk about, here's the overview. I'm going to talk about if you own a timeshare, you're going to do owner updates. It's just something that goes with the territory. And since that's going to happen, the next thing I'll talk about is how to maximize your owner updates for your your gains, not so much for the timeshare owners or timeshare companies. Um, and then there's two types I'll talk about. There's this short-term uh, marketing packages, and um, then there's the longer-term uh, package stays up to a, a week. And then lastly, I'll talk about event packages, which are a relatively new phenomena, but they've been around for a while. Um, just I think it's expanding. Right, with that, before I talk about any, any the details, I want to talk about a little bit about my channel. Then I'll be right back to diving into the details. Hi, this is Cliff, and I'm the Timeshare Traveler. Welcome to my channel. The purpose of my channel is to educate those who love traveling in timeshares. I've been an owner, owner for 15 plus years at uh, timeshare ownership. I have elite ownership with Marriott, Hilton, and Worldmark. I have a, published over 100 timeshare video reviews, and I've published over 95 timeshare tips. I can be found on Facebook at Timeshare Trav, at Twitter, Timeshare Trav, and on the web at www.timesharetraveler.com. Well, I'm back. Well, here's the bottom line. If you own a timeshare, you're going to be doing owner updates, or at least offer them. And you can say no. Um, that's always an option. Um, so you're going to be, you know, you show up, attend a presentation. When you stay at a timeshare, when you call into a hotel for a reservation, I've actually had them say, hey, we, at the end of this call, we have an offer for you. Well, as soon as you start listening to the offer, you know it's a timeshare presentation. Then, no, though, because you're a timeshare owner, you just know that. And they happen all the time. Um, when, when the marketing department calls, because they now have your information, you're, you're an owner, they're going to call you from periodically from time to time. I actually take those calls and listen to them because you never know. It might be something that you're interested in. Um, and like I say, because you're going to be in a, on a time center owner, you're going to get this. Might as well just take advantage of the situation because that's just the situation you're part of. Um, and that's to learn how to gain from the, the situation. Hopefully this video will give you some tips and tricks on, on how you can take the uh, most advantage of it. Okay, here's a tip how to maximize your owner updates for your gains. Um, first of all, like I said, assume you will have a presentation because you're in the timeshare ownership, is, you know, and so when you go on vacation, that's just something that you should just assume to take advantage of. Um, try to reduce the out-of-pocket costs. And really, I look at um, owner updates and potential packages. All that stuff is a way for me to get a more vacation usage or more timeshare usage for less than what I pay out of my maintenance fee or not having to buy any additional points. It's another source of, of uh, usage um, without having to have to purchase. Um, the other thing is maximize the benefit of the pre presentation. First of all, make sure you learn everything you can um, and always think about how I can get the most out of what they offer. Um, I always say take the points if offered. It's way better than the um, typically the, the cost of a dinner or a luau or a credit card they're gonna give you for whatever. I always find the, the use of the points is always greater. Um, next point is always ask for more than they offer. I, I, I always double and then see if I can meet in the middle or sometimes I get double. Um, so if they ask for 15,000 points, I ask for 30. Because um, they're incented to get you in the presentation, so you might as well see if you can uh, push a little bit. Um, and the most important thing is always compare what they're offering to the cost it would be for what you would do it. So if they offer you a three day, two night thing and they give you a bunch of points and it's $112 and you look at your maintenance fees, how much it would cost if I actually booked that, rarely would it be $112. It would be more likely $300. So that's just like the no brainer. But I always compare that because in my mind I'm saying, okay, I'm basically buying an additional vacation with the, having to do a presentation. Um, the presentation, I look at the points there and things like that they offer me. So, um, again, I'm always looking at it from, oh, what do I have to gain? Okay, do I really want to put up with the presentation? If the answer is no to that and that's just something you just want to stay away from, then this may not be good for you. But if you're comfortable with that, um, then I leverage them to my advantage. Um, and again, because I haven't had to buy, I'm using these as an, an additional vacation. It's better than having the recurring maintenance because you can decide some years you want to do it, some years you don't. Anyway, that's the, I think, the key, key item for how to maximize. 
<laughs> okay, now I'm gonna talk about the different types. There's a short stay, and I call that two to three nights. Cost is some usually somewhere between $100 and $200, and it's usually a high travel location like Las Vegas, Orlando, and various things like that. It's, and it's always where there's a location with a sales office. So if it's one of the remote places, it's unlikely that you're gonna get an offer in that area. Um, the other tip I have is uh, make sure you stay at the timeshare. Don't, sometimes they try to put you in a hotel and I'm like, no, um, uh, if you're gonna sell me about a timeshare, why would you put me in a hotel? I wanna experience a timeshare so that it would be, you know, and, they're, and I like timeshares better than hotels, that's why I own them. Um, um, you know, so anyway, I use the weekend getaways as much as possible because they're just really lo low cost and it gives me a week weekend getaway. Um, and sometimes the reason I say 100 to 200 is you can sometimes throw in dinners with other uh, timeshare owners. So I always like that when I, one of the reasons to do that. Anyway, let me talk about the long term, lo longer stay packages. Okay, the longer stay packages, it stays up to a week. Um, sometimes you can get a little more than that, but then general, that's what it means. Um, and these are offered often at locations like Hawaii where you're going to fly. So having a three day, two night package where you fly, have an airfare for a bunch of people, that's not really effective. So they have these longer term ones. Um, usually it's a minimum of five nights uh, and often, and again, it's often as long as a week, but I think you can stretch them a little longer because some of them are point based. Um, and these are typically offered when you say no to a presentation. So it's actually good to have done that, have a presentation, say no, and then they offer you the sort of, you know, um, the other uh, package opportunity when you say no. Um, again, these are vacations, in my opinion, they're always offered at less than the maintenance fees for you doing the same time. And they also include ba uh, bonus points for hotel stays or even timeshare stays. I had them, I had them done for that. Um, so that's that's the longer ones, and they usually again, they're most often when you say no, that that's your offer before you leave the door. And, and then there's the last category where I'm going to talk about, which is event packages. And sometimes chair packages include concert, cooking classes, and various other things. And these are these are more frequent now. I've noticed them, um, and I call them theme vacations. And, you know, again, I pick a theme that I want. So if I want to actually learn some cooking. I don't mind doing that, you know, so that may be the, the perk that I get. I've actually done, uh, gone to a rock concert, um, the live performance, which was amazing, in, in addition to having a dinner. And those are a little more than the, more toward the $200 package as opposed to, you know, three day, there's typically short stay. Um, one of the other things that's kind of an offshoot to that is it's a great opportunity because you're typically, it's usually like a party weekend, so you're, you're usually with like a, another group of timeshare owners. And sometimes I like to do that because I it's kind of like I get to talk to other people who own timeshares and I, I share stories and what works well and I often learn. So it's an op interesting opportunity as a, sort of as a side part that you actually meet other timeshare owners and you get a chance to talk. And again, they always include a timeshare presentation. Um, but again, it's, it's a different thing. If you would like more like events, um, it's like better than getting the credit card that you can do an event, but you actually have the whole uh, package based on a, an event. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.